some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Washington State where we encounter a soft tart, uh, broken record kind of deal uh, where uh, he doesn't seem to understand the language that he's trying to uh, speak mainly Latin because he says the same phrases over and over again without understanding of what they actually mean. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And his rights at arraignment. My honor. Uh, so, for the record, uh, I've I've made the special dissertation under duress uh, pertaining to the matters of Jonathan Troy, Faifa Leoso Maliato Schuster. Uh, for I am beneficiary. I am sovereign. I am man. My the flesh lives. Uh, the blood flows. Uh, I am a non-U.S. citizen, American national. Oh, great. Can you tell us which country you hail from? That way we can uh, ship you back over there and uh, you can be uh, their burden. I mean, I'm sure they'll uh, exchange something for you. I mean, if you have any value to them whatsoever. Maybe we can exchange you for, say, a lame horse. Uh, I am sui juris and purpura persona. I reserve all rights. Uh, I, I do not understand the status. And so I ask you... Ma'am, uh, what is your name? What is your nationality? And what is your status? Uh, I'm Judge Grant. I am uh, a citizen. and I'm the judge in this court. You are here uh, subject to appropriate jurisdiction. Uh, so you are here for an arraignment. Okay. You've been charged with a crime. Today, you will be asked to enter a plea. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I object because a, a, citizen, object, a citizen cannot sit a bench. Oh, oh! you're one of these idiots who thinks that uh, a U.S. citizen can't hold the uh, title or position of judge. Oh, you definitely are a complete moron. I mean, if you actually believe that crap. I mean, besides, I wonder where you got that particular crap from be to begin with. Because it sure as hell wasn't from this universe. Ma'am. Uh... So I'm going to go through the information. It looks like you have been charged with driving with a suspended license, driving without a required ignition interlock device, refusal to comply, uh, not having um, proper registration on the vehicle expired over two months. And then there was also a driving violation. Wheels were off the roadway. Last two are infractions. So- Ma'am, uh, jurisdiction cannot be proven unless status is established. You have not established status. And so if you cannot do that, I, I challenge the jurisdiction and if jurisdiction cannot be proven, I move to dismiss this case with prejudice. Denied. That would be denied. Le who? The her. Oh, so you were supposed to have a driver interlock device in your vehicle? This isn't the first time you've been to court, is it? I mean, uh, no wonder you're acting like this. You're trying to use a soft tart uh, bullshit to... Uh, Get out of this crap because you want to drink and drive all the time and uh, will end up uh, hurting somebody in the long run besides yourself. So I am going to, at this time, review for probable cause. Ob object. Uh, again, okay, I, 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 I challenge the jurisdiction and I jurisdiction must happen, be proven. It's not going to happen today. today jurisdiction must be proven. To hear the charges and I will be reviewing for probable cause and then we'll make a determination as to whether or not you will remain in custody. And I will hear from the prosecutor and, as to that. And if, if you violate my rights even further, ma'am, uh, as well as the officer and the sergeant that violated my rights, who, who are also going to be getting sued, uh, it would just add to that. And I, I don't do think that, that you, right need, now, you need to go that route. While I review this um, incident report. All right. I do find probable cause with the charges. I will be entering not guilty, please. Ma'am, you cannot yes. practice law from the bench. Uh, I object. Dumbass, she isn't practicing law from the bench. She has not given you any legal advice whatsoever. All she's done is, well, uh, enter a plea of not guilty because your dumbass uh, wants to drag out the system. And, well, she's not going to allow you to do that at all because that is well within her power to... Uh, well, plead on your behalf should you uh, either A, refuse to do it, or uh, 
B, are incapable of doing it because innocent until proven guilty is the, uh, well, default position at this point. Noted. You, you cannot enter a plea for somebody. That That is, you know, practicing bench Unless from the law. Unless you want to enter a plea of guilty, today there'll be a plea of not guilty. I understand you are objecting. Ma'am, I object. I challenge the jurisdiction. Jurisdiction has not been proven. Uh, status has not been proven uh, or established. And once again, you, you haven't even established, you know, your nationality or your status. I am a non-U.S. citizen, American national by way of America Samoa. I reserve all my rights. Uh, Is this something that we need to consider a competency evaluation for? Uh, we may need to consider ordering ability to proceed, but it looks like you have a driver's license that recently expired. To question my competency because I'm evoking my right or not evoking I'm sorry establishing status and and asking you to prove jurisdiction is outrageous uh, and so again if jurisdiction cannot be proven I move to dismiss this with prejudice based on the grounds that you cannot prove jurisdiction all right, I've reviewed this. You were driving in the city of Lake Forest Park. You were violating again. I, I, laws. I was not driving again. Uh, I was. I have rights. You were behind my car. rights were violated. I was vi my rights were violated. My, my right to travel freely unencumbered was violated. There was no emergency in which the officer needed to put on his red and blue lights. Reality check, you lead paint huffing soft hard. You don't need an emergency to turn on those lights. I mean, is a uh, construction zone an emergency? Because I see cops doing that all the time. I see police officers escorting uh, funeral processions with their lights on all the damn time. So is that an emergency? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, so tell me, uh, where did you get this nonsense about uh, only turning on those uh, light bars during an emergency. Was it one of your soft heart uh, gurus that told you that? Because he's full of crap. And, and so, again, if status cannot be set, jurisdiction cannot be proven, I move to dismiss this matter with prejudice. And that's denied. So you've made your record. Right now, I'm going to directly appoint counsel from the bench. Uh, Ms. McDonald. I'll again, I, I am you. sui juris in propria persona. I stand on my two feet. I'm in my proper person. And, and so I reserve all my rights. I understand that. And I've acknowledged that. I'm not dismissing your case today. I'm going to hear from Ms. McDonald as to the city's position on release. You know, I often wonder if these soft tards even know what the hell they're saying when they speak uh, Latin like that. Did they even bother studying it? Well, I didn't study Latin or anything like that in college. But I certainly have the ability to study it and look it up nowadays. Sui juris and impropria persona just basically mean uh, you're going to go pro se. I mean, it's pretty much redundant there, interchangeable uh, phrases, you douchebag. So you're just saying the same thing repeatedly ad nauseum and with a certain bit of redundancy over and over again because you have no idea what you're saying in, in Latin at all. Uh, yes, Your Honor, I am going to be asking that um, the bail remain the same. It looks like it's currently set at $2,000. I do have some concern regarding his uh, willingness and ability to reappear if he was released on his own recognizance, as well about as as well as concerned about community safety and and uh, risk of reoffending, um, given his uh, temperament in the court today. And Your Honor, Mr. Schuster would ask the court to release some on his own recognizance. Um, these are not violent offenses. Um, I don't see that he has any convictions for violent offenses. There was an assault from 2021 that was dismissed. Um, he may have some a view of the law that is different than the city's, um, but that in itself does not indicate that he won't come to court or that he would... Uh, in any way, try to subvert court proceedings. So we'd ask the court to release them on standard conditions. I know you're a defense attorney, and I know you're trying to defend your client, 
But that was a load of BS right there, and you know it. All this time, he's been trying to subvert the uh, the proceedings at this point. And uh, if you think his oppositional viewpoint of the law is not an excuse for him to flee at this point when you release him, then you better uh, uh, check again because a lot of Sarvatards don't come back and they have to have a warrant issued for their arrests. So, uh, yeah, you're kind of, uh, well, being naive at this point. Which makes me believe that you have never dealt with a uh, Sovtard before in your life. Well, the court can consider whether or not Mr. Um, Schuster is likely to reappear for future court hearings. What I hear from him today is that he completely um, objects to this court having any jurisdiction, I don't have a good faith basis that Mr. Schuster will return if I were to release him. Um, I do see that he has a prior conviction for DUI. He's on a deferred prosecution um, at this time in Seattle Municipal Court. He's not complying with uh, uh, conditions if he's driving without a license and driving without an a required ignition interlock device. Um, also, indication that Mr. Schuster will not abide the court's orders to appear on his promise. I want to look at the Seattle Municipal case and see when he's next scheduled to appear. Like you mentioned too, in 2021, uh, same situation, or not same situation, a situation occurred in which they tried to charge me. They didn't have jurisdiction. It was dismissed. Um, and again, uh, I don't want any charges against me because I do have the deferral, um, which would obviously violate that deferral. Uh, and so, I will make any visitations, special visitations to the court to handle any matters pertaining to Jonathan Troy Faithfully, also Maliatoa Schuster. Uh, I, I'm a man, I'm free, I, and I want it to stay that way. Apparently not. Not with that uh, jail uniform you've got going on right there. I mean, this isn't your first uh, court appearance, and it certainly won't be your last, given, well, this uh, defiant attitude toward the law thinking that the law doesn't apply to you. I do see it looks like he's got at least three prior warrants. He has two priors out of Benton County, one out of Lower Kittitas. Um, the previous warrants history. And throughout this process of going to courts, I, I've, I've had to learn a lot. And so I, I know it's no game to just not show and make visitations. That's not what I want to do. Uh, and again, jurisdiction does need to be proven, whether it's today or, or another date. And if you want to violate my rights even further by not releasing me on my own recognizance, uh, ma'am, uh, Je was it Jennifer Grant, then like I had mentioned earlier, uh, you, along with the officer and sergeant, with the officer and sergeant, um, who are already going to be getting sued. I mean, there's no need to add you as well, especially when you, you know the law. I, do I don't see another. I don't I see do. another date set until February 12 of 2025 in the Seattle, in Seattle Municipal Court. Yeah. Well, Mr. Schuster, I have to do what I believe is appropriate in this case, and that is to uh, set bail. And any uh, threats to sue me or to take any action against me, I can't be swayed by that. So you, well, it's you not a do threat. It. It's just what it is uh, because my rights can, have been violated, and if my rights are going to be further more violated, two thousand dollars. I do not believe that you will um, respond to the court's order to come back. I do base that upon uh, the conduct in this case, as well as the prior FTA history. So bail will be $2,000. If you're able to post bail, you are to return for your next court date. You are to have no criminal law violations. You're not to drive 
unless you have a valid license and insurance. And when are you setting that court date, Miss? Required by the Department of Licensing. You are, um, you will be represented because I'm going to assign counsel. I, I am, I am sui juris in propria persona. I present myself. I don't need to be represented uh, by anybody. I stand on my own two feet. These are criminal charges that have um, significant consequences for you. So it's in your best interest to have counsel. Again, again, I stand you. on my own two feet. I do not need to be represented by anybody. I present myself. Uh, sui juris and propria persona. Well, if you want to be your own counsel, you'll have to go through a full colloquy and waive all your rights to have representation. It's your constitutional right. I, so I do not accept being represented by anybody. Uh, again, I present myself. Um, I am beneficiary. I am sovereign. I am an American national, a non-U.S. citizen American national by way of America Samoa, like I had mentioned earlier. Uh, I reserve my rights. And I do not need to be represented by anybody. Do I hear a broken record? Because that's all I hear coming from this particular Sovtard. He says the same thing over and over again. And it's uh, just saying, I want to go pro se. Stated in various uh, Latin uh, statements, which all have the same exact meaning that you want to go pro se. And the judge has already agreed to that. She's just got to read the damn... Uh, address to you that way you can understand but of course you're too stupid to understand that all right uh the time for trial expiration is 8 9 24. again if you are practicing law from the bench and and putting a plea in for me i, I object to that there's you cannot practice law from the bench next court date will be we want to try for next Wednesday or even the week after that. Well, next Wednesday is a holiday, so the 18th, which is pretty full. So I was going to set this on June 24th. That's two weeks out. So for the record, you have not established status. You have not proven jurisdiction uh, and you're denying my rights. Is that correct? I don't know what you think would establish my status, but I do have status to sit in this court. You are a U.S. Me. citizen. A U.S. citizen cannot sit a bench. Sign for your next court date. You're asking me to sign something that you you pleaded for me. Is yeah, that correct? I'm giving you notice of the conditions that I have set as well as bail. You said I'm yes, you pleaded for me. Probable cause. If you are able to post that bail and get out of custody, those are my expectations that you will come back on that court date and that you will abide by the conditions that I have imposed. Those are being ordered today. So that is what's happening today. And we are giving you that notice. You can refuse to sign that notice and we'll note that you were provided a copy in writing and that you refused to sign. I do not understand. Which part how, of it do you not understand that you have? A I do not understand how you can practice document. law from the bench. I'm the judge and I am setting the conditions. Well, you also put, entered a plea for me, correct? What we're doing at arraignment is the plea is being entered. You're not pleading guilty. So on your behalf, I'm entering a not guilty plea. So correct. Cannot, you are pleading for me, correct? Two pleas. And if you not plead for me, you're practicing guilty. law from the bench. You cannot practice law from the bench. So I object. Right. You're going to give you that piece of paper and we're done with your hearing today. We will see you in two weeks. Okay. Jennifer okay. Grants, you, you will be. Okay. Taken further. And well, that does it for this soft art. And uh, the only thing he really said is, uh, I want to go pro se. 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 All in Latin phrases that are similar to each other and pretty much mean the da same damn thing. So obviously he never studied Latin or any other language outside of English for that matter. So maybe you can go to, back to his jail cell and uh, find some uh, loose lead paint chips they can uh, gorge on and uh, perhaps rot his brain even further, uh, making him more susceptible to that uh, sovereign citizen guru garbage that has already destroyed his brain. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?